Troy Farrell, PhD. I'm here to save the environment. I am going to do an experiment on goldfish. I want to know, and probably you too, <coughs> how music affects a goldfish's lifespan. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play music for the goldfish. And we're going to have rap, classical, Weird Al, and Quebec, uh, and of course, the constant and <coughs> rock. And we're going to play that music and see how long the goldfish live. My hypothesis is that the goldfish of the classical will live the longest. Also, the goldfish person did not know how to count, and we got another goldfish who's not involved in the experiment, called Speedy, and there's three others that don't have names. Now that we're done feeding them, we will attempt the experiment. This is trial one. Gently. Looks kind of cute to the goldfish. And then you just push... one minute of playing Weird Al Yankovic for the fish. For the classical music fish, we'll be playing the best of Glenn Miller. one minute of goldfish listening to Benjamin Gate rock. This is the CD we'll be playing for the constant. Step one, take off the lid. Step two, um, play this. Step three, take the headphones off because they will be listening to one minute of silence. They seem to like it. Hey, you're messing it up. Alright, that was one minute of silence for the goldfish. That was kind of boring. Okay, this was night one of our goldfish experiment. Tomorrow night we'll do the exact same thing, except we're going to leave out several parts of it because it gets kind of boring. So you're going to play the same amount of music, the same amount of time. But we're not going to videotape it as long, because you guys are probably already falling asleep. It's just plain boring. It's just plain boring. Good night, goldfish. Night, Speedy. Good night. <laughs>